we are just scratching the surface now. It's going to basically impact, well, not just our lives, but probably even generations of life together, right? A lot of people are saying that this is one of the um, great, uh, like, like, I think, time since, they say, say, the time of the internet, or even the time of, say, steam engines, right? Like, like when which disrupted things so on. So if you actually look at uh, some of the great technologies that have come out, uh, like like uh, there are things like electricity, there are things like steam engine, then uh, the computer, the internet, and maybe the iPhone also, smartphones also, right? Um, and and whereas a lot of people think that the current AI uh, the revolution that's happening, this is this is really really big, and then maybe I'm part of the few of these big to big to big time uh, changing uh, moments, uh, kind of. And and the, the the interesting part of this it's that we are just scratching the surface now. This is one which going to stay for quite some time. It's not like the uh, uh, we're just discovering. We are just discovering what is happening, and it's going to basically impact well not just our lives but probably even generations of life together, right? So yeah, it has just like opened the doors, and like very huge possibilities are there, like in content creation and software itself. Like there are endless possibilities that we are seeing. Like the productivity of each software developer has increased by ten x. Like the time that you, the software developer used to take, build a software has reduced significantly. So the, so also the, it, that is directly proportional to all the, uh, all the products that are built and everything. Yeah, that's a very interesting point that you mentioned. Since you mentioned software, right, what strikes me now is that, see that, like, that a lot of people have been talking about this, even big people like CEOs and so on, but the entire software packaging is going to change. Like, like Andre Karpati recently had said, this is going to be a software 3.0. And Satya Nadella, like this, uh, the CEO of Microsoft said, like, like, the SaaS is going to go through a big change. Or sometimes he was also saying SaaS is dead or something like that, right? And, and the, it's, it's really, these are profound statements, not just to be taken with a grain of salt. Because it's, it's like, and what very logical also, like, the current ecosystem is such that it's, it's kind of, uh, you have some software, you have some backend, uh, where, like, uh, these, these functions, APS, and all are called. And then you have a front end, which kind of, uh, which is exposed to user and so on, right? And, uh, Imagine with, with these AI agents, what we are really talking about. Say you don't need any of these. You don't need these uh, back in front end as in the way in the which they, they are right now today. And you just have access to all of these functions, right? Access to all of these calls. And the agent just calls them. It kind of does the job. And then it kind of just, um, after once the job is over, that's it. You are kind of uh, doing something else. It's no longer there. 